Welcome to Thoughts on the Market. I'm Sean Kim, head of Morgan Stanley's Asia Technology team. Today, a behind the scenes look at how China is reshaping the global AI landscape. It's Tuesday, June 10th at 2 p.m. in Hong Kong. China has been quietly and methodically executing on its top down strategy to establish its domestic AI capabilities ever since 2017. And while U.S. semiconductor restrictions have presented a near term challenge, they have also forced China to achieve significant advancement in AI with less hardware. So rather than building the most powerful AI capabilities, China's primary focus has been on bringing AI to market with maximum efficiency. And you can see this with the recent launch of DeepSeek R1. And there are literally hundreds of AI startups using open source large language models to carve out niches and moats in this AI landscape. The key question is, what is the path forward? Can China sustain this momentum and translate its research prowess into global AI leadership? The answer hinges on four things. It's energy, it's data, talent, and computing. China's centralized government, with more than a billion mobile internet users, possess enormous amount of data. China also has access to abundant energy. It built 10 nuclear power plants just last year, and there are 10 more coming this year. U.S. chips are far better for the moment, but China is also advancing quickly and getting a lot done without the best chips. Finally, China has plenty of talent. According to the World Economic Forum, 47% of the world's top AI researchers are now in China. Plus, there is already a comprehensive AI governance framework in place with more than 250 regulatory standards, ensuring that AI development remains secure, ethical, and strategically controlled. So all in all, China is well on its way to realizing its ambitious goal of becoming a world leader in AI by 2030. And by that point, AI will be deeply embedded across all sectors of China's economy, supported by a regulatory environment. We believe the AI revolution will boost China's long-term potential GDP growth by addressing key structural headwinds to the economy, such as aging demographics and slowing productivity growth. We estimate that Gen AI can create almost 7 trillion RMB in labor and productivity value. This equals almost 5% of China's GDP growth last year. And the investment implications of China's approach to AI cannot be overstated. It's clear that China has already established a solid AI foundation, and now meaningful opportunities are emerging, not just for the big players, but also for smaller, mass-market businesses as well. And with value shifting from the AI hardware to the AI application layer, we see China continuing its success in bringing up AI applications to market and transforming industries in very practical terms. As history shows, whoever adopts and diffuses a new technology the fastest wins and is difficult to displace. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the show, please leave us a review wherever you listen and share thoughts on the market with a friend or colleague today. The preceding content is informational only and based on information available when created. It is not an offer or solicitation, nor is it tax or legal advice. It does not consider your financial circumstances and objectives and may not be suitable for you.